Yeah. Jump in, jump in, jump in. Them boys up to something. Please be advised of the disclaimers. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pinnacle Trading here. Hope everybody is having a great trading week so far. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell button next to it to stay notified. And make sure to support Pinnacle Trading on our social media. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and also have our website right here, PinnacleTrading.us. And next, if you'd like to join Robinhood, you can use this referral link that I have. Uh, we both get a free stock if you use that referral link. Let's go ahead and jump into the markets. I'm going to be doing a quick recap of SPY, that's S&P 500 first, before going into the trades that we had this week so far. So this is a midweek recap so far. <clears throat> Looking at SPY, let's look at the one year chart. Let's go and load up my scripts that I have. So the one you've, you've seen before was the TTM script that I've been testing. I'll, make it, I'll be making a new video on that soon. So we've seen SPY break above that 50 SMA and we have that market crash right here from February falling into April, mid-April and then we didn't see recovery till late April into May. So the crash happened right there, the market crash. That's where you see that big drop and a lot of volatility going on there. And recently we had that nice recovery and SPY, I've been talking about this since my past videos. 275 was that big big breakout that we need to see and we had that 275 breakout and then markets ran up all the way today to 277.70 that's after market right now but I'll close it out around 277.50 so it's a big move on SPY I am looking for a market pullback this week uh, probably later into tomorrow into Friday but I uh, should see markets making another run tomorrow so far, futures on S S and P 500. So far, they're moving sideways, but I do expect a market pullback later this week and a sell-off before the weekend. So that's a that's my uh, quick recap on the market. So I'm looking for a pullback later in the week. So I'll be looking to take profits on some of my positions. Let's go ahead and look at the trades that we had. So this is the chat room. You can grab a membership on PinnacleTrading.us. These are how the options alerts look like. So I'm going to do a quick recap on the trades that we had this week. We had a bunch of nice back-to-back -back winning trades every day. And the first one was MU. So my entry was 3... I was in on that at 3.9. So 3.90 on that. And I exited at 4.10. So nice $20 profit. Actually ran up a lot more. And I took profits early because I was out most of the day. And I was really busy. So I took profits on that early and got out. But it did run up a lot more later on so i like to take profits early let my winners run and keep going on to the next trade next thing was I was playing spy puts i was looking for a market downturn so that was a day trade on that i got in at 1.62 and let's go ahead look at the winning trades on that and next thing so you can see my spy put i uh, got out 1.82 so a 20 dollar profit on that as well on tuesday and let's go ahead look at the next one it was DHI call. So this is how my alerts are. I call it out in the voice chat in the morning. I'm on for about a couple hours in the morning on the Eastern time. And I do my call outs on, on the voice chat and do them in the alerts, uh, the signals tab as well. So DHI, I did see a nice recovery forming. We did see a uh, drop in DHI today. So let's go ahead and look at that. So I saw this drop and I used to day trade this uh, in 2017 a lot back and forth. So I saw this drop and saw it coming down and usually when it does fall a lot, it recovers really fast and markets did help help it out on the recovery. So got in around 41, 40 area. I saw it breaking over Weebop, so that's where I alerted it right before. I was watching this all day. I was watching it going down, waiting for it to bottom out and got out at about 42.05 and still ran 42.30 but I took profits on that it was a nice profit so that was a nice profit today on DHI so that was about a $36 profit on that today so about 14.4 percent and it did run a lot more so it would have been about 20 25 percent profit next thing I'm gonna be looking at my trades that I'm in right now so TMUS I've been trading this I've been in this trade for the swing trade my entry was pretty early so I'm actually using TTM script referred by one of our members in the chat room and looking at the yearly chart 
it actually went into that green right now into the blue so it's a green and actually going green now and had a nice nice breakout today had the last shakeout so people were getting a little scared because broke below 57 that was a big support just been bouncing off that 57 support so i said hold strong you know it's ready for a breakout look at the chart and had my members hold through that and had a nice big breakout i'm still not out of this yet i'm holding for that 58 plus breakout and should be running all the way to 60 maybe even more and if any positive news comes out on the merging with sprint uh, with t-mobile uh, it should definitely help this out so look at the previous chart so let's go ahead and look at the previous drops every time you see this and you see that green and bounce up you see a lot of big volume come in and nice big spike so this is that same movement that we're seeing right here so this look at this section right here you see the big volume spike ran all the way from 60 all the way to 64 in a matter of a day or two so looking for that 58 break and then on to 60 on and over that so still hasn't broken out over 58 that's what i'm waiting for had a nice close today and market did definitely help help it out and right now let's go ahead and look at tmus so right now up uh just so total over 10 just almost break even on that but uh, daily highs i was up a decent amount so i did sell my half of my position to break even and i'm holding remaining two for that breakout over 58. so that's tmus next thing i want to get into is bac i am holding this for the long term had a big drop on this recently and i did catch it on rock bottom price so i got out got in around 29 10 29 30 or so so got in at the rock bottom saw this uh spiking back up so saw it bouncing off the 200 sma anywhere below 29 you know they still have the buyback on the shares so that's why i saw value in this we've never lost on this in the chat room so far uh based on passive results so being that it's breaking over that 50 sma and definitely set for a big breakout I had that nice run today actually all the way from 29 25 area all the way over to 30 that was a big big resistance financials and the rest of the market definitely helped it out and the next thing was jpm before we get into that i want to show you my position right now so i did pick up my 100 shares of bac at 29.39 you can see right there i'm up nice uh three percent on that or uh, 2.18 percent so total return right there i don't know why robin hood just switches these back and forth sometimes uh up on this and i'm holding that more for long term and i do have that 27 call these were really cheap i alerted this many times in the chat room that super cheap pick it up for long term and look back in a month or so and gonna be big profit so right now i'm actually up 20 almost 24 percent so nice trade on this and this is a 27 call all the way till october 19th so when this is worth about 30 31 32 later on in june july like that it's going to be up over 100 percent profit so i'm holding this for long term i did add one yesterday and i'm glad i did because i had a nice run today so that's bac right there next thing i want to look at jpm uh i alerted this jpm call today it was more of a gamble play so I was looking for that breakout, gotten a little higher than I wanted to, but having uh, that entry was really great, working out uh, good so far. So anytime I alert a gamble play, I'll put that gamble play in caps, and I'll alert in the voice and all the members just so that they know. I only take one to three calls on that, usually one or two, not too many. So JPM got in at 1.18, and next thing, I have it right here. So total return so far 12.7 percent and that's in one day guys 12.7 percent return so if you're investing about thousand dollars that's about 122 dollars return in just one day and if you invest in ten thousand more uh as a gamble play now uh, it's a nice return to take profits so i'm actually looking to hold this into tomorrow uh maybe a little later in this week but i do see that nice formation being that on the yearly, it's breaking over the 50 SMA, just like BAC. A very similar chart. You can see the pattern right there. So if you look at here, zooming in, just about breaking over that 50 SMA at that 110.50. Couldn't break over 111 today. I wanted to see that break, but went all the way to 110.70. So looking for it to 
cross up all the way this week to 111 and 112 before I consider taking profits. So looking for about 30, 30% return on that. So that's my uh, place that I'm in right now. Uh, BAC, JPM, I am in for, or BAC I'm in for that long term. T uh, JPM, just looking for that swing trade on that. And TMUS, I'm still in that swing trade, looking for that 58 breakout. So that's my uh, calls that I'm in right now, positions that I'm in, and had a nice profits back and forth uh, this week. Market's doing really well so far. So being that SPY is a little, little overbought, uh, had a huge run. You know, markets are back in the big bull mode, so having a nice big run, I do expect a small pullback later this week. And if you want to get these alerts, I have these live alerts by the second. Uh, make sure to grab a membership on our website that's pinnacletrading.us so you can go ahead and pinnacletrading.us and you can grab a one week free trial if you scroll down here and click join now or if you want to join a membership directly we have month to plan month to month simple pricing and gold is our most popular one that we have since it includes options alerts swing trading alerts investing alerts and diamond we have one-to-one -one mentorship access so 30 minutes mentorship per week we teach you tra uh, advanced trading techniques how to find stocks, how to find picks uh, for next day, how to find good setups, how to set up Thinkorswim and Robinhood and investing, uh, a lot of advanced data. So we do have that mentorship access in the diamond. And make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell button next, next to my channel and also support us on social media. Hope everybody has a great day. I'll be making a new video on my TTM script soon. So I do have that set up right now. I've been testing it for about, uh, this is the second week now, and working really nicely for day trading and also swing trading. So I'll be making a new video on that. That should be my next video that we'll be working on this week. All right, guys, hope you guys have a great trading week, and I'll see you again on Friday. Take care.